Hello traders everywhere, Jeremy Lutz coming to you from the Digital Studios of Market Club. And the stock market is slipping at the end of the week on threats from North Korea. The North Korean Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, said Thursday that the country may consider testing a hydrogen bomb in the Pacific Ocean. And if Korea does that, it would be their first nuclear test beyond its borders. That statement has left traders with an uneasy feeling heading into the weekend and I myself kind of just wondering what is going on. Uh, and crude oil can't make up its mind as it's trading in a tight range. So we'll take a look at that here momentarily but we'll start with the s p 500 and as usual we're on a weekly chart to end the week to kind of see where things are heading this week currently trading close to unchanged on the week however it is showing a down week uh, chart analysis score plus 75 with green trade triangles on the monthly and weekly however did issue a red daily trade triangle today showing a little bit of weakness as we close out the week currently trading 2498.54 and your key level to watch will be 2446.55 a move below that level would issue a red weekly trade trial indicating a move to a sidelines position Dow Jones currently trading at 22,309.22, relatively unchanged on the week, eking out just a small gain so far. Chart now score plus 75 with a green monthly and green weekly trade triangle, indicating that the intermediate and long term trend is still up for the Dow. However, it did issue a red daily trade triangle as we end the week on some weakness. Key level to watch would be 21,000. 709.63 a move below that level would issue a red weekly trade trial indicating a move to a sidelines position nasdaq currently trading at 6417.60 with a chart analysis score plus 75 indicating that the long-term trend is still up for the nasdaq but coming under some pressure as we end the week key level to watch would be 6334.59 a move below that level would issue a red weekly trade trial indicating a move to a sidelines position. Dollar index is actually eking out a uh, gain this week, about three tenths of a percent uh, up on the week, trading at 91.95 with a chart analysis score of negative 70, indicating that the long-term trend is weakening. However, we still do have a red monthly and red weekly trade triangle, indicating that we're still in a short position for the US dollar. Key level to watch will be 92.49. A move above that level would issue a green weekly trade trial indicating an exit to a sidelines position for the US dollar. Crude oil, as you can see, trading at uh, 50.50, uh, kind of how it's been the last three or four days on the market, up about a tenth of a percent on the week currently. Chart now score plus 90 with green trade triangles across the board. Uh, this comes on a little bit of weakness as OPEC met with the big partners in their organization. They didn't really come away with any conclusion on if they're going to decide to extend their extensions or deepen the supply cuts. So we're really kind of in a holding pattern with crude oil right at the moment. Key level to watch be $50 and 70 cents. Uh, not too far away from where we stand today. Move below that level uh, at the beginning of the week would issue a red daily trade trial indicating a move to a sidelines position. Gold currently down a little over 2% on the week, currently trading at 1,298.20, with a chart analysis score negative 70, indicating that the short term and intermediate team for gold are down. Key level to watch would be 1,319.80, a move above that level would issue a green daily trade trial indicating a move to a sidelines position for gold. And we'll wrap it up with Apple here, as you can see, really coming under pressure this week, currently trading down a little over 5% on the week to 151.38 with a chart analysis score negative 60, indicating that a sideline position is in order for Apple. Key level to watch will be 142.21, a move below that would issue with a red monthly trade trial indicating that a short position would be in order for Apple. And this big drag is actually their worst weekly performance ahead of a major market product launch uh, since the original iPhone back in 2007. It's really uh, incredible to see this. Makes you wonder why they announced the iPhone 10 uh, just as they're getting ready to launch the iPhone 8. It's kind of, uh, kind of baffling to me. But we'll have to see uh, how Apple performs next week. Maybe there'll be a little bit of a bounce back. Uh, Again, watch that key level of 142.21. With that, every success. Have a great weekend. I'll be back next week with your market updates.